Alright, it looks like Polaris, the North Star, is our guiding light in this video. And with his help, we are going to be heading into the Cave of No Return. So I guess once you buy something from here, you can never return it. That must really stink when it gets to be around Christmas time and people are wanting to exchange gifts that they don't like. Oh well. So, let's see what's around this place. Oh my gosh, it looks like there are wild Hitmonlees here! But I am not friends with Hitmonlees because they do awful things to Jack. If you've seen my Fire Red Nuzlocke, you will know the pain that Hitmonlees can cause. And, oh yes, I forgot, Polaris is out front, so he's not going to be repelling anybody. Well, he, she, it, I don't even know what Polaris is, because it's genderless. It's a star. It's a ball of gas. It doesn't have a gender, I guess. Alright, so what's up, dude? That is a snazzy hat. It's got a feather in it. Oh, and your name is Luffy, huh? Isn't that the guy from One Piece? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm just gonna counter because, yeah, you're gonna do that. And I'll counter again because you're gonna roll out again. And boom, you are dead. Isn't killing an elephant like a crime or something? Because didn't they used to be hunted for like their ivory and stuff, and now it's like illegal to hunt elephants or something? I'm pretty sure that's the case, so I'm gonna be thrown in prison. So unfortunately I won't be able to finish this Let's Play guys, I'm sorry. Maybe they'll let me have my laptop in prison, and I can finish this for you all, but probably not. Ooh, a PP Max! To the max, man! Or turns it up to the max with that PP Max right there. Alright. So in this game, it doesn't seem like the the dude added any hidden items. And I actually looked up who it is. It's DBZ May. That's what their name is. I just always forget that. And do I have the XP share? I'm pretty sure I do have the XP share. And I just passed it. No, I have two of them. I have two of them. And I got all excited, like, last episode, I think it was, because I found an XP share. I did not realize I already had one. Well, that's me for you. I never realize anything. So there's some zinc. Got the minerals up in this cave. Need them in your daily diet so you can be a strong, healthy Pokemon trainer. So here's Sanji. So anyway, what I was saying about his hat, I never got to finish. He's got like that, uh, that hat that a swashbuckling person would wear. I don't even know if swashbuckling is the right word, but I've seen that kind of hat before with the feather. Is it like Yankee Doodle, who stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni? Well, I stuck a feather in my hat, and I called it Kraft Mac and Cheese, and I made a multi-million dollar empire. And Fatty Cake right here, he started the hostess company, I guess. I don't even know what I'm saying, guys, so don't listen to me. Just, like, turn off your volume, and you can just watch the gameplay, because you don't want my commentary to damage your brain cells. Oh, another PP Max. This cave really is turned up to the max, and I really need to stop saying that, because... Oh, get to the Choppa! Alright, we're fighting Choppa here. I guess Raichu would be pretty good for this. Oh, he's dancing. Dancing in the moonlight. Every side there was dancing in the moonlight. Man, I really want to compile a video of all the times I've started randomly bursting into song in these videos. I'm sure it would be very, very long. It would be fun to do that, like compile a video of me singing in all my different LPs, because I'm pretty sure I've sung a lot. And I don't know if you guys like it or not, you probably don't like it. Ooh, he gave me $17.76. That's the year that America became, oh my gosh, Zoro. Oh, Zoro. No, Zoro doesn't wear that hat. I'm confused here. Oh, anyway, let's go out to Doge. Aw, oh, you, you blocked my Intimidate, bro, and you're sticking your tongue out at me, bro? You need to die for that, sir. Alright, so what did you send out? I didn't even pay attention. Oh, it's a Diglett. A little thumb sticking out of the ground. It's like Diglett is giving you a thumbs up. Alright, here's a Sand Slash here. It's a Slasher. The Hash Slinging Slasher. I don't even know. Alright, so there's some water right there that is not flowing at all. It's just like sitting there. Oh my gosh, why couldn't they have made that moving? It just irks me. Alright, so what do you have to say about life, sir? Battle me! That is a very good insight. So, Roybin. Roybin? Um, I don't know what to make of that name. 
I'll just kill your monkey instead. Because I'm so confused. Uh, there we go. Your prime ape is dead. It looks like it was just harmlessly doing the hokey pokey or the YMCA. I'm not even sure what it was doing. Alright, so here's a lily. I never thought those little yellow circles were its eyes. I thought the eyes were below. And, and the same for a Lilip. I never thought the eyes were like the little yellow dots inside the sort of hood thing. Yeah, <laughs> Lilip is, I mean, Cordelia is in the hood. And anyway, I just never thought those were its eyes until they blinked. And it's like, immediate revelation. It's like, oh, they blinked. Their eyes. And I can't go up there. Because there is solid rock up there, and usually walking through solid rock does not work. So here's Bumbo, he's got a nose pass. Man, what a big nose pass. You need a whole box of Kleenex for that thing. I can't imagine nose pass like getting sick and getting a cold. That would just be the worst thing ever. I'd hate to be a trainer of a sick nose pass. You need like to buy out all the Kleenex in Target or something if that ever happened. Alright, so, oh, what are you doing down here? Battle me! Alright, we'll battle Hiker Humpty Dumpty, and hopefully he'll fall off a wall. Even, you know, in the, uh, in the poem, it never actually says that uh, Humpty Dumpty is an egg, an actual poem, but just everyone assumes that he's an egg, because he, like, cracked, or something. But what if Humpty Dumpty was a human, and, he, and, and like his skull cracked, and then everyone's laughing at this and making it some children's nursery rhyme, and like, no, this guy actually got seriously injured. Just a little food for thought, so here's Hiker Cheesy. Uh, I would make a pun here, but it would be too cheesy. Oh! Oh! Alright, so let's kill Jay Leno here. I mean, seriously, Aerodactyl has that Jay Leno chin. Oh, 2016! Whoa, that's like the first year I'll be in college. That's pretty awesome. So anyway, um... Oh, I forgot what I, I was gonna say. I was gonna say something ultra cool, but then I forgot. And now I can't say it. Uh... Oh well, I'll just head up this ladder. Reaching the heights. Ooh, we're Route 17. We're already out of the cave. And it's another one of these bulbous Mother Nature works. I don't even know what the heck they are. So, is there anything significant up here? Oh, not over here. This is just a lonesome bulb right there, and another one right there. Um, let's see. Let's go this way. Alright, max repel. Repel all the maxes. Repel to the max! I'm gonna explore over here really quick. Oh. Uh, why can't I go in this water? This is... This is an infringement of my rights as a citizen of whatever region this is. I don't even know what region this is. Does this region even have a name? And why am I running through the grass? There are no wild Pokemon because I have a Repella. So here's Taniqua. That's a pretty awesome name, Taniqua. Uh, let's Thunder Wave the Dragonair. Um, and Polaris, you really should not be there. So I have to Doge. Because Doge is just so intimidating. Such intimidate. Such scary! And really, Raichu, there's nothing you can really do. Except, uh, I guess, Thunderbolt and Shogun. Um, let's just work on taking out that Shogun right there. And, hasta la vista! Oh, Dode, you want to learn Heat Wave, huh? That is 100 power, 90 accuracy. I'll get rid of Quick Attack, because I really don't use Quick Attack that much. Even though the priority is sort of nice, I never really use it. And shoot, I forgot you had Shed Skin. That just ain't natural. Oh, I guess you are sort of a snake. I was about to say, you're not a snake, you can't do that, but it sort of is. Aren't I brilliant, guys? But you already know of my brilliance by now. So it shouldn't surprise you that I would think to say that. Alright, so Taniqua gave us a lot of money. Thank you, Taniqua. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Good ma'am. Because she's not a sir. Alright, ooh, there's a trainer up here. I better battle her. Um, and it looks like Raichu is dead, unfortunately. So, Oscar. Oh, speaking of speaking of which, on the day I am recording this, uh, the Oscars are actually today. So that's sort of interesting, I guess. So, Oscar, this is your time to shine. I hope you give yourself to 
uh, ID Nemenzo and uh, let it go, because that is what I want to win the Oscar for Best Original Song or whatever. Although I'm prejudiced because I haven't really seen any of the other songs that are up for nomination. Like the Happy song, I've heard it before, but I've never like seen the music video or anything. And uh, what's the other one? It's like something from the Mandela movie, and I've never seen that. So maybe if I saw it, I would change my mind. But really, Frozen is the only thing out of those that I've actually seen, so that's what I'm going for. So anyway, we just killed that Dratini, and Matilda is down. And I believe that uh, there are quite a few trainers around here, so I'm going to stop right here. So, in the next episode, uh, I will continue to battle these trainers, and even though it is the Cave of No Return that we just got out of, we exited no problem, so maybe it disappeared, we can't return to it, who knows? So in the next episode, we'll be battling some peeps with purple hair, pretty snazzy, so I'll see you all next time.